follow-up to an event that impacted thousands. Ten minutes of terror left parts of one community in central Illinois in ruins 15 years ago tonight. On March 12, 2006, two large tornadoes tore through the heart of Springfield, leaving a trail of devastation. WCI 3 meteorologist Jacob Dickey here in the studio. Jacob, that night was a historic night for severe weather. It really Illinois. was. I mean, that was a very, fairly unprecedented event for the area. That area hadn't been hit since 1957. In fact, here's what happened. Why it was so much of a crazy event here. Uh, as we watched where the storm formed, it formed all the way in northeast Oklahoma and traveled all day long. As it came on up then, once it came here, dropped its first tornado in southwest Missouri, and it dropped dozens after that, continuing as it lifted off then. By about 7.50, the first tornado entered Morgan County here, and then 8.20 began the 10 minutes of terror for the city of Springfield. Two F2 tornadoes passed through the south and east sides of town, leaving a trail of devastation through neighborhoods and through business, businesses and more. As those tornadoes exited, the supercell continued on here, leaving destruction all the way up through Macon, Logan, DeWitt, McLean, Ford, and Iroquois counties. Wind gusts of 85 to 100 miles an hour occurred in parts of Ford and Iroquois County. The storm finally dissipated almost 800 miles later in southwest Michigan, a very impressive storm for us here. That night, we at WCIA brought you live coverage of that here as we see Blake Wood and Judy Frazier were live that night watching it. This is a little bit of what that coverage was like. So we had some impressive video of the power going out in the Springfield area, and I think we have that for you now. Yes, let's take you can take a look at the state capitol there, and the power starts to go out, and then the area around it just goes dark. And the next thing you know, our tower cam freezes, and we've actually lost our tower cam right now. We can't pull up a live shot from Springfield because we've lost communication with our tower cam on top of the Hilton in downtown. Now, there's our tower cam right now, still in downtown Springfield, just a few blocks south was how far that tornado went. Uh, and it gives us great views. Our tower network of the weather cameras really fantastic for us here. Now, I reached out to Blake Wood this today. He is in Springfield. He was the weathercaster at the time working with Judy Frazier. Here's what he had to say from that storm. There were storm reports um, from the spotters on the ground saying that the tornado was on the ground and moving through Springfield. Um, it wasn't until a little after the storm moved through that we knew exactly how bad the damage was. I think it was a miracle that no one was killed in the storm. I mean, I think it's a testament to the advanced warning that the National Weather Service was able to put out on the storm and that the media like WCIA was able to get out to the public. And you can see some of the damage there in Springfield after the storm came through. While no one died, the damage took months to clean up in the area. Now, many people from central Illinois, including myself, Self will soon not forget that terrible night. Justin Paul. Watching that power go out, I mean, gives you chills. It was surreal. I remember that. I was in middle school. Uh, just unbelievable. Yeah. All right, Jacob, thank you.